It's never been easier to start off as a level one in GTA 5 online. So I just deleted my PS5 account. We are going to be starting off from a level one once again in 2024. This is a beginner's guide to GTA 5 Online. It's a rags to riches style where we're going to be starting off from level one and we're going to be finishing the series once we hit $50 million. So whether you're just getting started and new to the game or let's say you want to start off a new character and follow along on this journey, this is basically what people have been asking for in my comment section, which is if you would start all over again, what would you do? As a new player, how can I start out getting the most amount of money? Is there any secret things that I didn't know about? Is there something that I should be prioritizing in or focusing on each week. Well, all of that will be in this series. So what to expect in this series? Well, this is episode one. This is episode one, getting started. This is literally just going to show you everything you should be doing when you've just first logged in for the first time. How do you start up? And then each episode I do going forward is going to focus on specific things, showing you how to make the most amount of money the fastest way possible. So as we progress and buy new businesses, each episode will turn into like guides on that specific business, showing you how to utilize it to its fullest potential and make the most amount of money out of it. Now, my character in this is going to be starting off with 800,000. I know it's random, but I assume if you're new to the game and you just purchased it, if you're on console, you're going to start off with 4 million and a business. I am not going to have a business. I'm just going to be starting off with 800K with nothing else. Or if you're on PC, you'll have the criminal enterprise starter pack. So you'll also have millions of dollars and a business. So even though I'm starting off with 800,000, this video is more show a guide for newer players. And you should all have more than I do anyway. So if anything, I'm starting off with less than you. But anyway, let's stop rambling. Let's jump into episode one, getting started. All right, so first things first, as you can see, we are level one. We have zero XP, but we do have 817,000 and 2,000. I don't know where that came from. Uh, also, let me, how do I turn this mic off? There we go. Don't want to be yapping at everyone in the lobby can hear me, even though we're in a public lobby. Oh, sorry, invite only. But first things first, what do we need? All right, so if we go to a foreclosure banks here, what business am I going to want for my very first business to start off making the most amount of money the easiest way? And it's not only the easiest way. You want it to be fast. You want it to be easy. You want it to be enjoyable because you don't want to do something that you don't enjoy, right? Because then you're just not even going to want to do it. So with those things in mind, let's look at the businesses here because we don't have anything. So we started our last one with a nightclub, which I don't think is a great business for your very first one. Yes, you are going to get 50k every 48 minutes, but you're going to need some other businesses to funnel into it to start making money in your warehouse. So I don't think it's great for a, for a brand new level one player. It's definitely not going to be the fastest, easiest ways to make money. So then we have clubhouses, which obviously is going to open up the MC business enterprise. We're not going to be doing that because I don't really enjoy them, but we will be doing it eventually because obviously this is this series is going to be showing you how, basically until you've got everything and 50 million. Bunkers, that is on the top of my list or one of the top ones we could be purchasing here to start off. Hangers, another one, which is excellent way to make money as a solo player. So the good thing about it, well, I'll talk. So a bunker's great because you're going to make 50k every hour by doing the ammunition gun run supply. As well as that, you're going to be building up money passively in the background. So that's a great business to have. The hanger, now this one's great because if you're a grinder, which I do enjoy grinding, you can fill up your warehouse fairly quickly and make some really good money, especially during like two times pay. So the hangers up there too. Facility is not even going to get nightclub. We've already talked about. And then salvage yard. That, this could be another really good business for a solo player that's just starting out. Why, you may ask? Well, you're going to... The tow truck, you can do that every hour and make about 100k an hour doing tow trucks by salvaging them. You also have three of the uh, the robberies a week. So you could do... I could do all three of those today if I wanted and make over a million that way. The problem is, as a newer player, you probably... You want to grind, right? So... Yes, you can do the tow trucks every hour. But once you've done the three robberies, then you're going to be sitting around just twiddling your thumbs. But that is a great business, and it's probably going to be the second or third business I buy. Probably the second. But what's the first one going to be? So we have the hangar, which is all up to us, right? We have to either grind and start making money. If we stop grinding, we stop making money. So that's all on you. Oh, we have the bunker which you can start making 50k every 48 minutes in game. And you can have just passive things coming in the background. 
Now, another thing we could do, which we've talked about in our last Rags to Riches, was the Acid Lab. The Acid Lab's going to take you an hour or two just to get the Acid Lab, and then you're going to start making money passively as well with that. But that's going to be very similar to the bunker, at least at the beginning. And you have to spend like a couple hours just getting it. So that's another business that we will be getting very soon, but not first. So the next thing is price. So if we go to bunkers, I think this is the best bunker. So this is 2.3 million. You can see we don't have 2.3 million yet. Now, if we look at hangers, I think, once again, I would say the cheapest one here. So this is 2 million. So it's cheaper. So I would suggest getting the hanger. Now, obviously, down here, we have some businesses or some hangers like this one, which is 1.2 million, which technically we could afford fairly soon. But the problem with down here is a lot of the missions are going to be up here in the middle of the map, and it's just too far to travel. 1.2 versus 2 million. Hmm, well, we'll see. Another thing we can do is get a CEO office, which is only a million. You can get 50K, like I say, every 48 minutes, just like the bunker, by doing work with your assistant. Agency is going to be a little bit more detailed. We'll get that later on. We're not, that's definitely not going to be one of our first. And then obviously, it's something that I'm going to be getting very soon is the Kasaka. But this is 2.2 million. Plus, you're going to want the Sparrow and things like that. So you're looking at, we want to at least have like 3 million by the time we get the Kasaka. So we will be getting this soon. Um, but we need to make some money first. Okay, so for this very first episode, I feel like we just need to take advantage. We need to get as much money as we can possible and then choose the business and then decide where we're going from there. So this is what we're going to be doing for this very first episode. First things first, we're going to head up here and we're going to get the time trial. So we're going to do that together and see if we can knock that out, make some money. We'll also do G's cash and then obviously the stash house and then the junk energy time trial. And if you're newer to the game, obviously photography is another thing you can do. Now you're probably thinking, okay, how much time is all this going to take though? This is, you know, episode one. How much money can we make in episode one just doing these things? Well, let's find out. All right, first things first, we need to head on over to the stash house. Keep in mind, we don't have any vehicles. We don't have absolutely anything. All right, well, we have our marker anyway. We can literally just steal a car right now and just head on over there. What weapons do we have? A pistol. This is actually madness. Like, starting off from literally nothing in this game is going to be a little bit for, you know, try to... We, we can pick and choose which car we want here. We'll go for this one. All right, let's head on over to our first location. So you can see we're at 800,000. Um, let's see what we're at at the end of this video. Here we are at our first location. And uh, where is it? Maybe go to the purple marquee, you idiot. So usually at this point, as you guys know, you'd have grenades and things that you can just throw on down here. No, not us. We have pistols. That's it. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, run, run, run. Let's hide. Do we have snacks or anything? Of course we don't. We have nothing. All right, we've got our health halfway again. I feel like just running and gun is the best way to do this. All right, let's run back up because there is one more guy there. Which, you know what I mean? All right, one more guy. Come on, where are you? Oh, you had a good gun too. You could have got me there. All right, find the code, which should be... Okay, there it is. 28398. 28398. There we go. Boom. Okay, you stole the safe contents. Let's get out of here. Of course our car's gone. You know what's funny? I think people take it... Uh, I was going to say take advantage, not take advantage. No, oh, don't shoot me! I think people forget how difficult it is starting off as a, as a low-level player. Take it for granted. That's the word I was talking about. People take for granted... Just being able to jump on an oppressor and fly away. Or jump in any of your cars and fly away. Or just be able to shoot people or put armor on. Or anything like that. All right, we need to drive away. And then I think we need to go to the store and get some armor and snacks. All right, 31,000. There we go. All right, perfect. 31K. Let's go to ammunition, I think, first and foremost. Or let's actually go to the gun van. Ah, oh, this ain't it, man. I'm not doing this car. I need this one. We're not... We're not, we're not working with this car, man. Listen, I'm sorry, my guy, but <laughs> you can have the Prius. All right, first things first, I noticed this blue marker, which is a guard. So before we actually go to the gun van, let's go check this guy out. Again, this isn't things I would typically do, like on my main account where I have lots of money. Uh, I don't really care about people like this. But when you're a lower level and you're just starting out, like I assume some people are that's watching this, every little helps. So we could get a key for the K.O. Perico, or you could get money. Okay, we did discover a key a K.O. Perico. Okay, so that's for the gun. So that was a 7K though as well. All right, now let's head to the gun van. 
All right, here we are at the gun van. The reason we came to the gun van instead of ammunition, even though it's right next to it, is you will get a discount here. So, body armor, you can see. I would like to get, you know what? Let's just get, let's fill it. So, there's the money gone that we just got from the guard, but that's fine, because now it makes it like this was free. That's how I look at it anyway. All right, weapons. Okay, so if you watch my weekly update videos, I tell you guys what things are on sale and stuff like that. But the only thing that's actually on sale in here is if you have GTA Plus, you can get this for 40% off. Well, the battle axe is currently 40% off, but I don't want a battle axe. You know what? We're going to spend a little on this. Let's fill this thing up. And that's fine. Ugh. There we go. So we got ourselves a new weapon. And we got ourselves some armor. So that's all we need. Okay, now, next up. So let's go ahead and we'll head over. Which one should we do first? We'll go to this one first. So the cool thing about when you just start out, everything's fun. Everything's fresh. Everything is exciting. Like for me right now, I'm driving around in this car. And as I find better cars on the road, that's what my new car will become. So it's, it's, it really is. It, make, it puts everything into perspective and it makes you enjoy and appreciate uh, the, the little things a lot more. Like this, for example, I'm pretty sure this Aston Martin is going to be better than the car that I have there. So if you don't mind me, this is my new one. Okay, so I did forget to get snacks, but that's fine. All right, head on over to our next spot. Now, the problem I'm just remembering right now is these time trials, I'm probably actually not going to be able to do this one. We could do the RC Bandido, but as a new level player, you're not going to really have uh, a vehicle that you're going to be able to do it in. So let's have a little look around here. Hmm. Now, I think we're just going to have to do it in what we've got. Okay, are you going to start off going straight or are you going to go back? Okay, we're going straight. I don't think we're going to be able to do this, but we're going to give it our best shot. This is going to be impossible. In a car like this, this is, gonna, this is not going to work. But it's okay. It's going to get us up north where we need to be for our next thing anyway. So we completed it anyway just to see how much we failed by. Yeah, we get, listen, two grand's two grand, but what cost, man? Look at my beautiful car. All right, next up, let's get G's cash. All right, now we just got to search the area for G's cash real quick. Sounds to me like it's on top of this thing. You can hear the little beeping very faintly. Yeah, there it is. That was easy. All right, there we go. We'll take it. Oh, come on, please. That's not even, no one cares. We got ammo and snacks. Snacks, though. Let's eat some snacks. I needed snacks. All right, let's get away from these cops. All right, guys, so we got rid of the cops, and the reason we're all the way over here, I was waiting until it gets to daytime. You guys know I like recording in the daytime. Uh, look at our car. <laughs> look at it. Look at the stance on this thing, baby. People pay good money to make their car look like this. Kind of looks like a, uh, a Batmobile. But uh, this car, listen, it's done me It's done me well. So the reason we're coming up here first is because obviously there's a lot of animals all over the map now. We are on console. Um, so we're going to go to the photography board because we want to just see what three animals they're going to give us. Um, and that way, if we see them along our journey here today, we'll make an extra 100k. So a boar, a rabbit, and a great camorant. What the hell's a great camorant? But a boar and a rabbit. I just passed a rabbit. Rabbits are bloody everywhere. Okay, but anyway, our next money thing is going to be this right here. We just got the treasure hunt uh, picture that just came through. So we know exactly where that location is. And even if we didn't, it's okay. Because as you can see on your map, it does show you the exact location. And uh, we're not going to be following this road. We are going to be going down here. Because following this road is madness. That's like, that'll take you forever. So I'm going to see if I can pick up a better car here. And see if I can possibly see a rabbit. And then... Um, then let's just continue on. You know what? I can hear a robbery. We're going to do that just to get a little extra cash. And I was about to say to you guys anyway, um, we haven't had a single car that's better than the one we have here. I literally have not found another car. So, sorry, sir. So we can either keep, oop, let's grab that real quick. We can either keep this ourselves or we can turn it in. We are going to be turning it in. But yeah, there's not a single... How is this car the best car possible? <laughs> there hasn't been a single better car, I'm telling you. Look at all these things driving around, man. All right, come on. Tommy Shelby's got your back. Don't you worry about it. There you go. I got you. Don't worry about it. How much you got me for? 20k. I'll take it. We're leveling it up, baby. What are we? Level five. If only this week was the week of the peyote plants, man. We could have been at like level 50 within an hour. Listen, Rabbit, can you not move so fast? That's a rabbit. 
There we go. Sent to Taurus board. Sent it. All right, 20k. Okay, so great Camerant. Cam what the hell's a Camerant? It's a bloody big boar. It's a... It's a the bloody big eagle looking duck is what it looks like. You're not a great camera, aren't you? Nah, it's going to be near the ocean. Okay, anyway. So we're here. Now I've got to find this clue. Wherefore art thou clue? I don't remember doing this one. Okay, so it's right here for this location. Just in case you have the same one, this is the location you can go to. Okay, treasure moved while I moved it. Okay, now the treasure hunt continues. So now we have... What do we think? What are these markers? We can either go to this one or this one. So I guess we'll just go here. All right, here we are at our first location. Now, we're not giving up on this car, by the way. This thing, <laughs> greatest car ever created. Okay, location, where do we think? It's going to either be in there, surely. Or, no, it's got to be in right here. In this little whatever this is, right? Has to be. All right, cool. We got a shovel. One of three discovered. Two more to go. One of them is fairly close to here. One of them we have to go quite far away. So let's move on to the next one, which is going to be here. Once we've got that, we've got to come all the way back here. All right, here we are on our next location. All right, here we go. The tree. It's an empty box. All right, listen, I'm going to be honest with you. At this point, guys, we've got quite the journey to go. And I don't know if our beautiful car here is going to make it. Um, but I'm not giving up on it. So let's get to that third spot. And hopefully we can find a boar along the way. Not a cow. I need a boar. All right, guys, we're coming up to our spot. I'll tell you what, this car is the ultimate offer. <gasps> There's a boar! Stop moving! Did we get it? Where's he gone? He's going! Listen, we're going to have to come back to this marker. I need to chase this bloody boar. When am I going to see a boar again? Where do boars, like... What's the best way? All right, come on. That's a boar. Get out of here with that stupid fa I am going to rage. Where's he gone? I hate the nighttime in this game, man. I absolutely hate it. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone forever. I don't care, stupid boar. All I need is my car, man. All I need is my car. All right, so since there's nothing down here, I can only assume the treasure's going to be up top. Oh, bloody cave. How did I forget about the stupid cave, man? He looks like he's been mauled by a bear. All right, let's go get this treasure. We're not doing the treasure without my car. Give me my car. Where's my bloody car? My beautiful car. This thing's been through everything, man. Okay, so once you've got all three of them anyway, you're going to head on over to the uh, the treasure box, which... Where the hell is it? Ah. You better have, a like, a helicopter for me or something. All right, let's get there. My car's dead. My car's finally died, but it's fine. It's fine. I can't believe it. <laughs> we need to rest, rest in peace, my car. There it is. That's a boar. That's a wild boar. Don't you dare tell me that's not a wild boar. My car's dead. There's no chance this isn't a wild boar. I'm gonna... This game deserves to die. No, because then you get too close to the stupid boar. I'm not... Does it have to be an alive boar? Does the game state whether it needs to be dead or alive? Or can it just be dead? Because that's a boar. It still won't let me do it. There's no way that that's not a boar. I hate it. I hate it here. How's that not... That is as wild a boar as I've ever seen. That is the wildest boar in the world. This is bloody... Uh, get, okay, get out of here. And all right, here we are at our location. Who's it going to be on? Which one of you guys, huh? All right. So there's the first part complete. Well, for this treasure hunt anyway. We're still making money here today. We're not done yet in our first episode. Can't see him. I'm invisible. Go figure. Boom. Double action revolver. I'll take it. All right. So if we want the 200k though, we do need to get the 50 headshots, which doesn't sound like a lot. Uh, but we're going to have to go somewhere that's pretty populated in order to get 50 headshots. You know what I mean? This place ain't it. All right, so we need to do 50. This is literally nobody here today. How many bullets do we have? We got enough. Excuse me, sir. One. Two. Three. We need the cops to come. 
So I do see on the minimap right there, you can see there's a skeleton. So we're going to just run over to that real quick. All right, metal detector unlocked. At least we got that from there because we will need that for the KO Perico. Oh, long range headshot. Okay, come on, hurry up. I just want to finish this challenge, man. <laughs> it's got to be done. It's kind of, we have to be completed. I mean, with uh, come on now. There it is, 250k. Okay, so we've got the revolver, 250k. So you may be thinking, all right, what's next? We've got like the Gcash, we've got the 250k. What else are we going to do to make some money on this first episode? Okay, so for up next, we're going to do the junk energy time trial. I should have done that when we were up here near the photography earlier. Since it has been an in-game day, I would have been able to do it twice by now. But that's what we're going to do first. And then we're actually going to start up some of these missions. But anyway, let's head on. Do I have a car? I still don't have a car. So the reason, by the way, I, I, I mentioned it earlier, but saying that there was no helicopters anywhere. You have to be a level 10, I believe. Like anything after level 10. If you're lower than that, they're not going to spawn for you. So anyway, let's get up to the junk energy time chart because it's quite far away. Guys, I'm like 90% sure. Isn't this the bloody thing I need to get? How close do I need to get to it, though? This is definitely it, I think. It is. That is definitely it. That's stupid. The ball didn't work. Now the birds don't work. We did get it. Finally. Okay, so that is one of the birds. We got it. Another 20k. Listen, we'll take it. The ball's an interesting one because I definitely took pictures of that, but I don't know why it didn't work. All right, so here we are. So let's go ahead and grab this bicycle here because we definitely can't be doing it in our car. All right, here we bloody well go. You ready? Let's go. All right, we don't want to boost or anything just yet. As I boost. Because you got to worry about the stamina, right? Especially as a low-level player like me. All right, boost. I'm just laughing at what I probably look like on bloody this camera, man. Just... <laughs> Come on! Failed by 0.3 seconds! We're redoing it. All right, we did it. Just. You just gotta constantly boost. All right, done. Well, let me steal the bike, but it got rid of my car, didn't it? All right, we found a wild boar. This is the last one we need to get, so we may as well uh, follow this guy. Uh, you know what? He's bloody ran off. Where is he? You, listen. Where'd you go? No, we're coming for you. <laughs> Not this time, my friend. Dude, how does the wild boar always do this? How does the wild boar always get away? Bloody boar! The annoying thing about these boars is not only do they vanish... But they, they run too quick, man. I'm chasing him. How are you supposed to take a picture of him if he's running this fast? Of course. Vanished. Wild boar. Gone. All right, guys. We found one. It's close. You can't tell me this is not close. That can't not be. How can that not be it? That's a boar. This does, this game doesn't make sense. It just doesn't want to take a picture of the bloody ball. How close you have to be to the stupid ball? This is close enough. This is close enough. The game, if it doesn't work after, look at that. You can't tell me that's not a ball. It's still not a ball. All right, any closer and we're family. It was a ball. We've got it. We got the ball. All right, there we go. 60k. So that's 100,000 in total from our first, uh, from, from those, basically. All right, so now that we've got those taken care of, what is next for our very first episode here? Before we buy a business, we still need more money to make. So what we're going to do is head over to this location right here, and we're going to start up some little bounty hunting missions. Okay, so as soon as you get to the location, you'll see that text up there. You can see 
Uh, but basically, just go into your phone and it'll say that there is some bounties. So now we just got to wait for him to get in touch. Now, if you were smart, I would maybe wait to do this until you're like a level 10 so you can get helicopters and things and be able to fly around and do these a little bit quicker. Uh, but for me right now, the next step after this is going to be a longer one. So I just want to get this one over and done with. Okay, so after like a minute or two, you can see we get information saying you've received the target. So if you go to your mini map, it should show up with the first target, which I don't see. Got to open the email first. Okay, gotcha. This fella right here, red shirt, got it. Now we have it. So he's going to head on over there and take him out. Like I say, if you were on, if you had a helicopter, this would be a lot easier. But we do need to wait until we're a level 10 first for that. Which is almost, we'll, we'll probably be there after this, I'm guessing. All right, so we're in within the circle now. Now we just need to find somebody wearing a red shirt, essentially. I see someone in a red shirt. I don't hear any bells. That is definitely him, though, if I say so. Hey! I don't know what the heck, like, what was he, what was he trying to do, man? I mean, listen, we just, we got him. Anyway, 5k, but that's not it. We, we need to wait for our next one, uh, because we're going to be getting some big paydays here. But anyway, let's get away from these cops. All right, guys, so here comes in another email from Maud for the second one. So it takes about a minute you have to wait in between. But here's the thing. So you just have to complete five of these. And once you have, then you'll get another email for the stone hatchet. So let's speed these up. Let's go through all of these really quick. And then I'll show you where we could do what well, what we do next. So what we're going to be doing is getting this email and doing all of these um, bounty hunts, basically. All right, so we've done one. Here's number two. And you can, by the way, you'll get 5k for taking these out. If you bring them in alive, you'll get 10k. But uh, it's just, you know, too much time for me. So there's two. Let's move on to number three. All right, number three. Hey, hey, hey. This person's a bloody ninja. <laughs> hey. Oh, she surrendered. All right, get on the bike. Can you not get on the back of this? All right, come on. Get, let's get in the car. We'll do at least one of them as a surrender. Why not? Since she did it by herself. The reason I wouldn't recommend uh, doing them this way and doing the surrender, yes, you'll get double the money, but it will take so much time. And right now as a low level player, but an extra 5,000 seems like a lot. But honestly, time is money, especially in this game. So if I was you, I would just try and get these done as fast as possible because there is a three minute cooldown in between each of these bouncy missions. So right now, we could already be on the way to our next one, but instead, we're wasting this amount of time that we're doing right now, bringing it over there uh, just for an extra 10K, which honestly, it's not worth it. But anyway, let's wait until we get there. And all right, there we go. We dropped it off. But like I say, I just wouldn't recommend it. Unless you're like, you know what? I'm taking my time starting off as a level one. And I'm, you know, I want to just get as much money as possible. I have nothing but time. Then go ahead and do it. But um, honestly, if not, don't worry about it. But anyway, there we go. Number 10 or 10,000, I should say. Let's move on to the other two. All right, here's number four. Nah, you're staying down. We're not taking you dead or alive. This person's not going anywhere. Okay. Surely they're gone now, right? All right, we got the 5k. That's all we need. Okay, let's move on to the final one. All right, guys, here we are on our final one, who just so happens to be chilling here on this bridge. So it should be nice and easy. There we go. And that's it. That's the final one. Now she should call us and let us know where our treasure is going to be. All right, so as you can see, she has messaged us telling us where the treasure is. So let's head on over to the treasure. The one thing I'll say about doing this, like I say, if you want it to be more streamlined, wait until you're a level 10 or 11 or 12 or 13 or whatever it is you have to be in order to get, you know, helicopters to be able to do these. But it kind of takes away the, the joy. Because if you're somebody that's played GTA for a long time, you'll know that when do you ever really drive cars around the map these days? If you have to go far, you always spawn a helicopter or an oppressor or something. Um, so enjoy these moments. These are the moments you'll enjoy the most and you'll look back at with fond memories. Just driving all over the place because you have no other choice. Um, it's actually really cool. It's very therapeutic. Like I am definitely enjoying myself right now just driving around to all these locations. So if you're like, oh, you know what? I'm not going to do these until I get a helicopter. Don't worry about it. It's a, it's a lot of fun just driving around. Honestly, you'll, you'll miss doing this eventually. But anyway, here we are coming up on our location right here. And this is where our treasure should be buried. I can hear you. All right, there it is. Okay, 
So you may be thinking at this point, all right, we've done absolutely everything there is. Are you going to open this? There we go. Uh, we've done absolutely everything. Now we're going to get a nice payday. Not yet. Just like the pistol, how we had to get the headshots. This thing's going to be a wild ride too. Let's take this thing. Let's head on back to the beach. All right, here we go. One. Oh my God, this thing is brutal. Two. Three. So your maze bank account has been credited with 250. So I don't need to do this anymore. So let's put this away. And there you go. 250k added to our account. All right. Let's move on to the next thing. All right. So for our next one, we're going to do the Navy Revolver. Thank you, sir, for dropping off the vehicle. This is exactly what I needed. I appreciate it. So the Navy Revolver, for those of you who don't know, is going to be up here in this location right here. I think it's just it's right around here. So that's where we're going to be headed to next. Let's go. You know what? We're going to take... We, yeah, this car's just a little bit too slow for us. I'm going to fast forward until we get there, but I needed something a little bit more uh, muscle. And listen to the sounds of this, by the way. All right. We got here, ladies and gentlemen. Now that we're here, there should be just a little sign for us. I believe it's on this right over here, this box building door whatever you want to call it anyway once you get here as you can see investigate so you take a little look at that hand Ooh, ee. Ooh, okay now that has started up the investigation and you can see right now we are one of five so now we need to move to the second clue location which is all right and for our next location and this is going to be the same for everyone by the way so we started off all the way up here this spot right here that is where you have to go to get the first clue. Where is the bloody handprint? Once you have grabbed that clue, you're going to head straight on over to this location right here. And again, it's going to be the same for everyone. And then once you get here, you're just going to come outside. And right here, as you can see, there is a bloody hatchet. All right, let's move on to the next one. And we're still getting 5k for each of these, but we'll get even more at the end. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, so we, by the way, this is a lot less than I thought. We're level nine and helicopters are starting to spawn. Not that I need this right now, but we're going to take it because <laughs> they're not supposed to spawn. I could have sworn until at least level 10, but we're going to take it. It's just going to make our life a little bit easier. But anyway, for the next clue, clue number three, you're going to head on over as we are right here to Sandy Shores. You can see my marker on the mini map right there. And, uh, or Sandy Shores Airfield, I should say. And we're just going to put this thing down right here. Or is it the next one? I think it's the next one. Just Let's just set it down right here. Okay, and then run down here. All right, and you can see just on the ground. So that's where we just parked our chopper. This is the exact location if you're following along at home. And then you're going to investigate. You can't really see it, but there is something on the floor right there. What is it? Is it an arm? I think it's an arm. It looks like an arm. Anyway... So there's number three. Let's move on to number four. And now we have a chopper. If you don't, it sucks. But uh, listen, I've enjoyed driving around, but this thing showed up and I'm like, you know what? We may as well. Okay, and here we are landing. So let me show you the location. It's going to be right here on your map. I'm just now realizing too that my screens are kind of overlaid. It's weird. I don't think it's been like this the whole time. It's got nothing to do with something else underneath it. It's done this a couple times. But anyway, let's just finish this up. All right, there it is on the side of the building. Can you find me? And there we go. That is number four. And we got another 5,000. Let's head back in our chopper because I'm going to be showing you where number five is. Now, number five is an interesting one. So number five could be in one of five different locations. So we're going to head to the first one, which is going to be this location on the mini map right here. This is the first spot. I've done a temporary fix over here on the, uh, for it not be, I don't know why it's doing that. And I apologize if it was there for a while. I think it's my capture card or something. Okay, so this could be the first location of number five. I don't hear anything, but if you are following along at home, like I say, this could be the first one. Yeah, there's nothing here. You would hear it by now, but it's this location. So come here first. So now we're going to move to our next location where it could be, which is going to be right here. All right, here we are at our next location. And I don't hear it. 
I'll get out just to make sure. Yep, absolute silence. Nothing here. Okay, so since it wasn't in the second one either, let's move on to number three, which is going to be right in this location up top here. And at this point, this is where the helicopter definitely comes in handy. If you don't have a helicopter at this point, this is a lot of driving around. Only because, like I say, the fifth clue, it could be in one of five places. And it's most likely always going to be the last, let's be honest. But hopefully it's the third one. Let's go. All right, and as you can hear... Nothing here. Or is there something down there? Let's have a little look. So it would be... I don't think so. I think it would be parked right where the helicopter is here. But it, Oh, no, it's not. It is here. It's a van. It's kind of, It looks like it was bit, it's kind of clipped through the floor here. But this is the spot right here. So if it wasn't in this spot, though, there's two more places it could be. One of them being right here. See where this little overpass is? It's going to be right underneath in this location. So this is going to be the fourth possible place. And the last one is going to be right here. This is where the last one is. So it's going to be on the map, as you can see, but right in here. But for us, we found it the third place. Let's go ahead and investigate. Ooh, you see some hatchets, some blood. Okay. And there we have it. Five out of five clues completed. Okay, so we're actually in luck. At this point, you can see it is currently almost 5 a.m. So we've actually only got one in-game hour to get this complete because this guy as you saw if you didn't see we got this text message right here so we have the killer who is going to be looking for us so the best place to go is just head over to like an open space over near sandy shores so we'll just go for the airfield and uh he should come for you between 7 p.m and 5 a.m i believe at the times so if we just go hang out in the middle of sandy shores right here we've only got an hour of in-game time left for him to possibly come after us um, but hopefully we just get it done and we don't have to wait an entire in-game day because that would just be a waste of time. So let's go ahead. We'll just sit down right here. You know what? We'll go... We'll go walk and we'll get on top of this thing just so we have a little bit of height. You know what I mean? We don't have a lot of guns to choose from. Uh, so we'll just go for the carbine rifle that we purchased. I think this is a good enough one. Now we just sit and wait. I can hear him. There he is! Okay. <laughs> Scare the life out of me. Okay. 50k. We have taken it. You now own the Navy revolver. So we got 50k for that. He's, oh, I was just sitting there and all I heard was like a little bit of a little rustling coming up behind me. You know what I mean? Okay. Anyway, once you've got him, he's very easy to kill as you guys saw. You can see 50 kills with a Navy revolver to earn more money. You see a theme going on here? Yeah, me too. You know what? Is there any cops... There is a cop coming. We could probably just... We can make this work right here, I think. All right, so Navy Revolver. Who's going to get it to me first? I think this guy. So this one, you don't even need headshots. Um, This is just... Yeah, 49 kills, you can see. this. You don't need headshots. So this one's actually really easy. All right, there we go. It is complete. Another 200,000. All right, just take me. Go for it. <laughs> All right, there's another 200k. We're making money today, baby. All right, so what we're going to do now is go to money and services, and we're going to deposit everything that we have in our checking account, or cash on us, I should say. And as you can see, right now, we're at 1.8, just over 1.8 million. So we've made $1 million in this episode, ladies and gentlemen. A million! And we haven't even got started yet. This was just the little things that you can just run in, do, take care of. They're super easy to do. And uh, now we have our next set of things we're going to be doing to make another million. So after this next episode, we're going to have 2.8 million, maybe more, maybe 3.8 million. We're going to be rolling in money, ladies and gentlemen. But anyway, ladies and gents, that's going to do it for episode one of this beginner's guide rags to riches our series showing you how to do everything how to make the most amount of money and the question i get so often is what would you do if you started over from scratch once again that's what we're doing in this video so just to be clear though because i don't want to confuse some people like this is a different account i have two accounts i have one where i have almost everything purchased and it's a pc account and then i have this account which is on console specifically ps5 where i've started from nothing to show you guys this new guide and the way you're going to be able to know which one's which, because some people are going to be like, wait, weren't you starting off? How did you have this business already? I thought the way you're going to be able to tell is this. If you see my face in the thumbnail, that is going to be this series. The beginner's guide series will have my face in the thumbnail. All of the others will not have my face in the thumbnail. 
But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed our first episode. Let me know in the comment section down below, specifically, if there's anything you would like me to cover during this series of a beginner's guide. Is there anything you would like me to go over to show you how to do? Absolutely anything at all. Let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be doing it all in this series. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And I'll see you guys, as always, tomorrow with a brand new video. Goodbye.